Hey guys, even here, so we're gonna start this video with a footage of William Bonac training at 4 weeks out of Iron Classic and this is what his physique looks like. He does look awesome, he looks great. He has the fullness, the roundness, the hardness, the thickness and it really looks like he is not going anywhere. He is not gonna retire anytime soon probably because based on his look right now he definitely looks like he's not done, not just yet. He still looks like he can win the Arnold Classic, but again, it's gonna be against Brandon, so even though Bonek won the Arnold Classic two times, third time it's gonna be tough against Brandon, because Brandon kind of proved that he's a better bodybuilder than, than Bonek. But if Brandon doesn't come 100% on, and Bonek does, and it seems like Bonek will do that, and I don't know if Brandon is gonna go all out for the Arnold, maybe he's gonna save some fuel for the Mr. Olympia. If he does that and if Bonek really comes spot on, he might end up beating Brandon Curry. Because it was very close to the Arnold 2019 and uh, at the Mr. Olympia both of these guys looked worse than they did the Arnold. So if, if Bonek somehow repeats 2019 Arnold Classic shape, he might end up victorious in this uh, in this rematch. Especially if you consider the fact that he wasn't able to train two weeks prior to Mr. Olympia 2020 and 21 both. So this time around, if he successfully organizes himself and he's actually able to train and to eat and not to be locked in a hotel room or whatever happened, if he does everything properly, He's gonna look much better than last year, and uh, you know how he looked last year? He looked pretty good still, considering. And no, at this point in his career, I don't expect him to make real improvements in the offseason, but I do expect him to come, you know, fuller. If he can actually train for the last two weeks, he can be fuller. And also his legs, he had an injury in his, I believe his right or his left quad and he says that that's taken care of, so I believe his legs are gonna be fuller and he's gonna be overall bigger, fuller, harder, rounder, so it's gonna be a dangerous package, that's for sure. Oh, on the same account we have a story of Brandon Curry as well and also he posted some training video, it's not a lot really, you can't see much of his physique, but you can get the idea of how big, how full, how how lean he is at this point at 4 weeks out. Just like Bonek, he is training his back. And uh, as far as his body fat percent at 4 weeks out, you know, it's on point. As far as his size, he is still very big. So there is nothing wrong with, with, with Brandon. I'm guessing that video that his coach posted was old. But this, I mean, this should be recent, right? Why would he post a training video if it's not recent at 4 weeks out? He should look something like this. Like, he's lean, but, you know, he's uh, full. Brandon is usually very, very full, always. So he's not, he's never, like, flat and shredded and dry. He never really gets like that. He is known for his fullness, but he also always comes in great condition. He never really failed with conditioning. So whatever he's doing, it's working well for him. And right now, you can see, he looks good. Now, this is not, like, a proper physique update. It's been a long time since we saw one, and I'm guessing it's only a matter of time when we're gonna see a new one. As soon as we do, I'll make a video about it, so guys, subscribe to my channel. But here you can see, I mean, he, he's big, he's full, he's round, he's uh, lean for, for four weeks out, and he looks like the favorite to win this Iron Classic 2022. Alright, next we have another great bodybuilder who seems to have come back, right? I mean, lately he has been posting a lot of videos and photos and take a look at his arms now. Take a good look at these arms. They are freaking huge right now and he's 210 pounds. And something is, is he's prepping for something. Now, I'm, I'm pretty positive it's not gonna be a comeback, another bodybuilding show. I don't know what he's, what he's announcing here in this post, but something big is coming up. But as far as his physique, that's what I'm more concerned about. He looks much bigger, and the question is, why? How? What is the reason, and how did he get this big? And my assumption is, he got tired of TRT, and he decided to do a little cycle. <laughs> that's my best guess. Again, he's only 210 pounds, which means that he's much smaller than what he used to be back in the day when he was competing in the off-season. He was weighing around 250, 260 in the off-season. 
now he's too tan and apparently he's not shredded so this could mean that he's actually you know probably just on trt but he started training much harder and like eating regularly and eating well whatever it is it must be something that he has done differently because he's back right i mean the size everything it's back i mean he was much much smaller a couple of months ago he was a significantly downsized or melted whatever you want to call it version of dexter jackson but now this doesn't look like he's downsized at all i mean he looks massive right now how healthy is this for him it's probably not the healthiest thing he would probably be much better off if he was just another if he looked like another skinny guy like a classy guy here he looks like a bodybuilder uh, definitely i mean look at the size this those freaking arms and delt and chest like he's not downsized not really he downsized for a little moment there and then he came back and now he's huge again so tell me guys what do you think how did he get this big again is it just because he wasn't really training for a while there and wasn't eating properly and he started doing that or he was doing all that but he was only on trt and he started using more gear now whatever your thoughts are tell me in the comment section down below well interestingly enough we have another comeback and it's ronnie coleman who is as he says on his youtube channel 285 pounds right now that's much bigger than dexter jackson does he look bigger than dexter well ronnie has a much bigger frame even though his arms are not looking nowhere near as good as dexter's and i'm only guessing his legs are also much much smaller he's a big guy like you can see throughout the shoulders and chest and back like the thickness of his entire body also the fact that he is taller than dexter so he could be 285 maybe he exaggerated it a little i don't know if he's actually 285 that's a lot i mean that's almost 300 pounds i don't know he does look big he definitely does look much bigger than before his arms are definitely getting bigger and better and overall like he's just much bigger how healthy is this for ronnie it's very unhealthy but he doesn't care he just loves bodybuilding he is bodybuilding he will be doing bodybuilding until his last day i have no doubts and we have another bodybuilder who is probably soon going to have a comeback not right now not just yet as you can see in this photo right here juan morel doesn't really look you know at his best no and he says this is physique update he is currently 240 pounds which is not light but for him it is light usually in the off season he goes over 300 pounds he says uh, wow crazy just saying that i haven't been this light in a long time all of 2021 i ate whatever i want drank a few nights a week cookies every night and only trained two to three times a week so even though i didn't get out of shape due to my metabolism i did feel sluggish and tired uh, a lot and i wasn't productive i told myself comes new years i will start eating better and getting back into training five to six days a week so four weeks into following a clean diet monday through friday and weekends i eat what i want i'm training five to six days a week and doing 30 minutes of cardio five to six days a week as well i feel amazing feels good to be back in a good routine i wake up early every day and start my day blah 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 so uh, also feel he says health is well the brother i don't know how healthy it is for juan to drink three times a week and to eat cookies every day but i'm guessing it's healthier than being 300 pounds all the time and you know injecting your body with with grams and grams of gear so i guess that probably is a healthier thing for him but uh, if you're thinking well he did stay in shape because of his fast metabolism he looks pretty good in this uh, mirror selfie think twice because let me show you what he looks like when he is on boom <laughs> right i mean juan is known for having the freakiest mirror selfies of all bodybuilders really he never really showcased this on the stage not really but he was still very good he was one of the best bodybuilders at a, at a certain point in time one of the top 10 in the world so right now he doesn't look this good not even close but he is planning on competing again 
This photo was taken only a couple of months ago and he looked much better a couple of months ago, even though he was still uh, much downsized than what he was back in the day in that previous photo. He was still in a pretty good shape and yeah, bigger, more muscular. So I'm guessing here he was on more gear <laughs> and now he's doing less. So he says in this in this uh, post that was a couple of months ago that he is going to compete in 2022 if everything goes well for him if he is not too busy if his life is, his life is not too hectic if everything is well he will do it because he's only 39 as he says and if he doesn't do it in 2022 he will do it next year 2023 or whenever but apparently he's uh, right now he's taking time uh, off and he's taking it easy he's not pushing anything he maybe looks 20 percent of his best look and i don't even know if he can get back to his old shape but i would love to see him try anyways guys that's gonna do it for this video if you enjoyed it give it a like and in the comment section down below give me your thoughts thank you so much for watching all the best and bye bye